times where we were at war. This was supposed to be our big thing, man. I mean, we got into fist fights, but we loved each other that much. That's what brothers do. You've said that this film is the G-rated version of an X-rated story. That's very true. How watered down is this version? It's very watered down. It does veer you from the truth. What you see in the film as the ideal of Corey being taken into a trailer by a guy in a suit, that's not really how it happened. But that's how the lawyers made me say it happened. That's, how did it happen? Well, I can't say exactly how it happened because I wasn't there. I would be sued for defamation. However, I can put it into a film as part of a storyline, and that's what I intend to do. So the truth will be revealed if people donate to my campaign. Feldman calls it his truth campaign, an effort to raise $1 million through crowdsourcing to fund the real film he wants to produce, one he says would include allegations of past sexual abuse by several Hollywood men. Feldman has already publicly named two men he claims molested him when he was a teen, but says he knew of alleged abuse by other men as well. So you know the names of the men who you say abused Corey Haim, your yes. friend, that you witnessed them walking into a room and Corey then telling you what happened. And also Corey telling me beforehand, hey, this happened to me, this is what happened to me when I was 13 years old, and this is why I am the way I am. That needs to be told. That person who did that damage to him and raped him at 13 years old needs to be exposed. Will you profit from said, this film? I mean, hopefully, if I'm lucky, I, I deserve to, don't I? I'm a, a director and an actor. I mean, I have to get paid for my work. Feldman claims some of that money he raises will go towards the film production and charity. Do you understand your critics, though, because so many women have come forward and told their stories without any security teams or without any legal but those women, defense in, half in place? Half of them got paid off. I didn't get paid off. I was not a kid. all of them got paid I off. I said half of them. But if your goal is to protect other children and to stop this from happening, why yeah. wouldn't you release all the names? We are in totally new waters now. When you say something, you're believed in a way you weren't before. Okay, and that's now nice investigations of you to say. in So in, when the lawyers come after me and they start arresting me, are you gonna be there to defend me? The bottom line is I'm not an accuser, I'm a victim and I'm a survivor. I have done what I have done to try and help other people, it's true, but at the end of the day, I'm a producer of a movie. Feldman says he has not been offered any free legal protection to defend him if he were to reveal more names. I am making the movie to expose my truth. I'm not just gonna throw it out there and be slain down. If you or anybody else wants to tell me that you're willing to give me the legal protection that I need, let's go. Now the 46-year-old says he is continuing his fight to honor Haim, who died of pneumonia in 2010. What do you think Corey Haim would say about what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish? He's the one who asked me to do it. I'm doing this for him, for his memory. We were just two normal kids that just wanted to experience life together, mature together. I never tried a drug until my molester gave it to me. Henceforth, if I hadn't been put with a molester, I would never have done drugs. I would never have been arrested. I would never have had these terrible things happen in my life. And we would be having a very different conversation today. Feldman says he told police about his abuse back in 1993, but investigation was never pursued. After apparently missing for years, those recordings of his interview with police were recovered just last month and turned over to the LAPD. Feldman is hoping a new investigation is launched into those men, but the LAPD will not comment on the matter. A Tale of Two Corys premieres this Saturday, January 6th on Lifetime.